Back on America's Forum, let's continue the conversation with Dr. Ben Carson, co-founder and president of the Carson Scholars Fund and author of the new and best-selling book, One Nation, What We Can All Do to Save America's Future. Uh, Dr. Carson, obviously you're concerned about health care, and Jonathan Gruber, in a 2009 policy brief, said of Obamacare, quoting now, the problem is it starts to go hand in hand with the mandate. You can't mandate insurance that's not affordable. This is going to be a major issue. Has the key architect of Obamacare finally admitted or admitted really close to five years ago that this health care law would be unaffordable? Uh, I think if you look at the uh, compilation of things that he said, uh, you would have to come to the conclusion that he really didn't think that it was going to work. Uh, I'm not sure that, that any of the architects of it thought it was going to work because they would have put a lot more uh, effort and detail into it if they had thought that. Um, but I think they were moving the ball toward the goal. And their goal is a large government-controlled single-payer system. Uh, one of my old congressional colleagues with, with whom I used to serve on the Ways and Means Committee, New York Democrat Charlie Rangel, said this about President Obama and his record, quote, Now, there's not going to be an Obama for the Republicans. The, the economy is coming back. Unemployment is going down. Immigration, we're taking a big burden off of the Republicans with Cuba and immigration. Now there are going to be real issues. <laughs> uh, isn't Obamacare a real issue? Uh, well, health care is a gigantic issue, and there is no question that the system was broken and that we needed to do something about it. What we did not need to do is create another massive government program, uh, and we need to be looking at different ways of taking care of it, putting responsibility back into the hands of patients and to uh, their health care providers. These are things that can be done. We, we keep listening to people saying, oh, you know, the horses are at a barn, you can't get it back in there, end of story. That's a bunch of crap. You know, we can do anything. This is America. Well, and to that end, there are Republicans who say, oh, gee, the, the current Obamacare can be modified. You reject that notion. It can be taken away. I totally reject it because you're taking the most important thing you have, your health care, and putting it in the hands of government bureaucrats. That fundamentally shifts the power equation in this country. It takes it away from the people and puts government at the pinnacle. The people are supposed to be at the pinnacle. The government is supposed to conform to our will, not us to their will. Well, obviously, and we made mention of it earlier, people know your resume as a, as a brain surgeon. Uh, as a neurologist, you also said that learning about government and the process of politics is not, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but to paraphrase, is not that difficult. Now, last time you were here, you were preparing to go to Israel. You're back from that trip to Israel. A potential president has to have a foreign policy in mind. What did you learn on your trip to Israel? What will influence you as a candidate in the two minutes we have left here? Well, one of the things that uh, really impressed me, uh, people have to send their children to school on armored buses with bulletproof glass. The hospital, I went to the operating rooms, beautiful hospital. Operating rooms are four floors beneath the surface in bunkers. And they have to live that way on a day-by-day -day basis, and yet they're determined not to let terrorism deter who they are, and they remain optimistic. Their birth rate is considerably higher than ours, uh, which indicates optimism. Uh, some of the technology, just wonderful, and the things that we've been able to do together with them, wonderful. Uh, one of the things that disturbed me is I look at the animosity between the Palestinians uh, and the Arabs, uh, the, the, the Arab faction and the Israelis, and the just indiscriminate violence uh, that occurs. And I worry when I see the hatred that's going on in this country. You know, we the American people are not each other's enemies and we have to stop allowing people to manipulate us. You know, we, we have people running around saying, kill the police. I mean, are you kidding me? And, and, and yet, you know, this is happening and moving us toward a state where we cannot get along together. You can't say anything good 
about somebody on the opposite side or you're, you're a traitor, you're evil. You know, we have just totally lost it. And unless we get back on the right track, we're going to destroy ourselves. A house divided against itself cannot stand. Mindful of that, 20 seconds remain. Do you have a date certain now when you will announce a decision? And how close are you? If you had to take odds on it, where are you right now? Uh, I will announce before March, before uh, May the 1st. And um, I would just say that uh, I am listening extremely carefully. I don't want to do something that the American people do not want me to do. Listening very carefully, and we've listened very carefully to your answers this morning. Dr. Ben Carson, as always, we appreciate your time. Look forward to your next visit. Stay tuned. There's more.